President Kennedy begins his venture in personal diplomacy in Latin America with a stop in Puerto Rico, where he is greeted by Governor Luis Munoz Marin. The President's whirlwind tour was planned to strengthen cooperation among South American countries for economic betterment. And at the San Juan Airport, he terms Puerto Rico the bridge between Latin America and the United States. More than a quarter of a million people cheer Mr. Kennedy on his way to the governor's mansion, and they press against the gates, calling for him to make an appearance. Flags of the nation and the commonwealth wave over the mansion as Mr. Kennedy is honored at a state reception. With Governor Marine, he greets the guests before a formal dinner. Latin American affairs press heavily on the president, even on such occasions. He spent an hour with his aides before the reception, conferring on the rapidly shifting state of affairs in the Dominican Republic, and then went on to Caracas, Venezuela. There's a huge crowd at the airport awaiting his arrival, and here again the president's reception is warm and cordial. None of the anti-U.S. demonstrations that marred Vice President Nixon's visit two years ago materialized. Greeted by Venezuelan President Romulo Betancourt, Mr. Kennedy praised him for leading his country in the path of liberty and progress. It was Mr. Betancourt who overthrew a dictatorial regime three years ago. President Kennedy visits a farm project on the outskirts of Caracas, which is a pilot program in bettering the lot of impoverished farmers. It is part of the Alliance for Progress, a drive on the part of the United States and Latin American countries for the betterment of economic well-being in all of the Western Hemisphere. Mr. Kennedy unveils a pleasant surprise. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, uh, Mr. President, uh, one of the uh, Kennedys uh, does not need an interpreter, so I'd like to have my wife uh, say just a word uh, to you. Conoce el deseo profundo de mi marido de ayudar a los que necesitan ayuda. Estoy segura que con vuestra colaboración él tendrá éxito. Hasta luego, gracias. After Mrs. Kennedy's delightful speech, the party goes on to Bogota, Colombia, and the most tumultuous reception of this crowded weekend. Here, the greeter is President Alberto Camargo, and high on their agenda is a discussion of a meeting to be held in January. This is the meeting of Hemisphere Foreign Ministers, called at Colombia's request to deal with subversion emanating from Cuba. The crowds that greeted the President in Bogota are estimated at more than a half million people. It's a roaring reception, with throngs jamming the sidewalks along the way. another state dinner before the president leaves South America for home. At this affair, Mr. Kennedy stressed the prosperity of Western Europe over the grim, drab poverty of communist Eastern Europe, adding that democracy has an unparalleled power to reshape societies without the repression that destroys liberty. The tour is a personal triumph for President Kennedy.